Why, hello there, Anxious Cynic, back again with another Mindimator tutorial. So one of the questions I got asked recently was how to do custom objects and things. I don't know if I'll have enough time in this tutorial to go over all of the different things that you can do in that regard, but I figured I'd try to go ahead and put a tutorial together for you guys to do custom items, you know, like swords and whatnot. So normally when you come into uh, Mindimator here, you're gonna go up here and click on your item list and you're gonna have this item sheet. And uh, you can actually see this image here, you can replace it if you download a custom one or if you wanted to make your own. Uh, that's a little bit more than what we'll go into here, but just as a note. Uh, let's say if you wanted to create a, a diamond sword here, so you would have that selected. You can make it a 3D item or a 2D item. This would make it kind of just flat 2D. We want it to be 3D, so we're gonna keep it there and you can have it face the camera where uh, no matter which way your camera goes, it's gonna face it. We don't really want that. And then you have bounce where this would obviously uh, if you wanted to have something like just sitting on the ground, bouncing, waiting for your character to pick it up, kind of as it would within Minecraft itself, you could do that. Otherwise, we're going to leave that off and just leave it a 3D item and create it. And there it is. There's our sword. Let's uh, make sure, okay, everything's set perfectly. And yeah, so there's just a basic sword. But I mean, maybe, <laughs> maybe this is too boring for you. Maybe you don't want just a diamond sword. So, if you notice down here, you know, when you go into your library, we have our item selected. Let's just go ahead and name this uh, Diamond Sword with the uh, obligatory underscore there. You can change it. You can make it something else if you wanted to, of course, uh, after you spawned it in. So, don't worry about deleting it and spawning in a brand new one. And here you have the option to change the texture again. So... You know, you got to have a texture to change it to, first of all. Um, another thing is we have our rotation point here that's not doing too well. If we wanted to animate this um, by itself, you know, like say Steve threw it and you wanted it to spin. This isn't really the kind of spin you would want. Uh, this isn't really for the purpose of this tutorial, but just to show you real quick, you might want to bring this up. Let's see. That might be... That's about center. And this way you can, I made the, the Z there, eight. So that's Z for me. Again, I have my settings changed a little bit, so it might be Y for you. In any case, you just want it to, uh, like by default, it's way down here. So you just want to bring it up to where it's centered on the sword. And that way, when you animate it, it's going to spin properly. So all these different things for how to animate your items. All right, so now for the meat of this tutorial, we need a texture for our custom sword. So we're gonna open up our image editor here. This is Adobe Photoshop Elements, which is what I use. If you have something else that can edit something with a transparent background, there are like online editors you can use or uh, you can download GIMP. That's uh, G-I-M-P if you wanna Google that and download it as a free uh, open source image editor, I think. Uh, but what we have here is the item sheet from Minimator. And what I've done is isolated the diamond sword out of it by selecting it and bringing it out. This isn't a huge deal. I'm just using it as a template to show you guys. Uh, to get to your Minimator folder, though, you want to go to your system folder with your, you know, the name of the computer or whatever, the user account you have. And then you'll have a Minimator folder there. You go to Other, the Other folder, and then there's Textures. Go to the Textures folder and... This is your block sheet for all the blocks within Minecraft. Uh, there's so many because this is animated, like for you know lava and whatnot. Each of these contains a slightly different frame for those animated blocks. Um, and then you have your character skins and things like that. And way down here is items. This is your item sheet. That's what I have open here. So if you don't know how to get to that stuff, that's how you do it. I don't know if this contains every single texture that Minimator uses, but it's it's the bulk of them at least. So we're back in our image editor, and this is the uh, the frame I'm going to be working with. Now you can make this any resolution you want, I guess. But to keep things simple, you know, if you wanted it to be a higher resolution, you could make this uh, a higher resolution. But for now, this one is 16 by 16 pixels, which is the default 
for Minecraft items. That's 16 pixels this way, 16 pixels this way. And yeah, that's pretty simple to work with. You could make it 32 by 32 or whatever you wanted to do to create your custom object. So what I've done is create a new layer here. And what I'm going to do is use my pencil tool, which this allows me to edit pretty much like individual pixels. Like I can just draw anything I want. Um, let's go ahead and make it black for now, just so we can see what we're doing. Uh, the reason I have this, the sword up here, by the way, is as a, a reference to show me exactly like what the Minecraft sword looks like. So I can kind of, uh, know what I'm doing when I make my own. So what I'm actually going to do is reduce the opacity on this. Now, you know, this is, uh, you know, I'm not going to do a tutorial on how I'm using Photoshop elements because I don't know how many of you might have it or use it. So just kind of go with the basics. Uh, you know, you don't have to do all these things that I'm doing. I'm just doing this to give me myself a guide if I could talk. I need a guide for speech. Anyway, so let's just say if I wanted to, I'm going to make a similar handle as uh, what Minecraft uses. So there's kind of our handle there. But instead of this straight sword with the, the guards here, I want to try and see if I can make something a little more devilish. Now, I am not very good at uh, doing this kind of stuff. So bear with me for a moment as I try to sort it out. Uh, I just, I want to try to make like a, a curved blade situation here and it's probably going to look horrible. So <laughs> forgive me for that, but let's see, let's see if we can get like a, a basic shape here and, uh, we will edit this as we need to, to make this work. So I'm just going to kind of draw out a general shape here and come back in something like this let's actually just draw it out there we go that's not too bad so i'm going to take my eraser tool well, let's size that down uh the, the eraser's eraser is a little bit bigger here so um yeah let's see oh no we can go to the block that might help us okay once again this may not be the same for whatever you're using just uh keep it in mind all right, so let's do that. This does not work too well. <laughs> okay, so we've got like that going there. And I wonder if it would work better if we had it do this instead. Let's try like that. That, that seems a little better. Something like that. All right, and we want to get rid of some of this blockiness here. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, I don't know. I kind of like that looking more solid. It definitely looks a little more... Hey, there we go. For some reason it doesn't want to delete things. Uh, it looks a little more rugged and rough. Let me do that. That's That looks okay there, but I don't know. I feel like it looks a little too blocky. Something. What if we did that and got rid of that one? That doesn't look too bad. Something like that, maybe. That's pretty rough, but uh, I make no apologies. I suck. <laughs> so, okay. Um, I think that's a good general outline there. And let's say we wanted to use, let's make it the, the diamond colors here. So I'm going to increase that so I can actually steal those colors. Um, in this editor, I hold the alt key and that allows me to select whatever color I want. But for you, again, it may be different. So don't follow these steps verbatim or whatever you want to call it. Let me move that out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. So we're just going to draw out something and see if uh, we can make something look awesome. All right. That's all we're trying to do is make awesome looking things and stuff. So we'll do that. Let's steal that color and just kind of do all this. I'm going to try. I've been probably too detailed in this as it is, but uh, I just want to give you guys an idea of like what you might be doing. That's all. That's all we're trying to do here. We'll give it some uh, darker colors here. Maybe, maybe actually a really dark color there and then something like, something like that. Um, <laughs> this looks really bad. 
Let's see. Let's do that one. What if we... I don't know. I have no idea. This is... This is whack. It's whack! Alright. So, I, obviously, I would need a good bit more time to work this out. I guess maybe we'll just leave it like that. It's, this is gonna be a weird-looking thing, man. I gotta be honest. Alright. So, let's just say we want to go with that for some reason. Let's get rid of that layer. This is our new awesome sword thing. Can I get rid of that, maybe? Oops. Let's get rid of that one. I don't know. We'll just... Oh my god. Something like that. We'll go with that, okay? So we're gonna save this. Now you can save this anywhere you want. I'm just gonna go ahead and plop it into my Minimator folder. I'm gonna name it Custom Sword Texture. Alright, and then we're gonna save it as a PNG because you need to preserve this transparent background. And PNG allows you to do that. That's what all the default mine, Minimator and Minecraft textures are in, is a PNG. So we're going to do that, and we're going to save it. Once again, you can save it anywhere you want. I just do no interlacing, and it should be good to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually just change our original sword here. So we're going to go to our Project tab. We're going to go to the Image. We're going to Browse. I'm going to go into our Minimator folder. And there's our custom sword texture, and we're going to bring that in. And now, as you can see, everything went haywire, and we have a blank image here. Well, I believe the problem with that is, if you notice down here, it says use as sheet. Now, this is the uh, additional option. <laughs> My voice cracked. Uh, additional option that we have in the library tab. So we're going to disable that, and there it is. There's our custom sword texture. And uh, let's see if we can bring Steve back into this mixture here. And we're going to take this sword. We're going to go to its properties and we're going to parent it to Steve's right arm. And once again, we're going to have it stay on the lower half. And everything looks pretty good to me. We're going to go ahead and rotate it. Let's say about, what is it, 180? No. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. There we go. Perfect. And we're just going to try to position it a little bit. Something like that. Alrighty. So you can see down here, let's get some, some nice rendering going on. See what this looks like. Alright, so now that we've got it parented to Steve, we can just animate it. Yeah, he's got the most wicked sword that you've ever seen in Minecraft, ever. Look at that. You could totally slay some sheep with that thing. <laughs> All right, so that's a pretty basic tutorial. I, I, sorry that I lingered on so many little details, but just in case you guys had any questions about certain aspects of how to do this stuff, once again, don't follow it verbatim because you may be using a different program and it'll do a different, you know, it has different functions for how it does things that I was trying to do here. But basically that's it. You just draw some pixels and then you go into the the Minimator interface and you change it to that PNG and then you take off uses sheet because it's trying to find that texture on that whole sheet by default, I believe. But if you make a single texture like this, you want to turn that off so it's just using that one little image. And that should be it. That's all you got to do. And there's your custom swords or your, you know, whatever uh, item you want to make here. You can do it all. Anything is, it's all up to you. <laughs> and uh, there's other ways you can do certain things, and uh, I'll try to cover those maybe in a future tutorial. But that's just the simplest way to just do custom items and fulfill all of your hopes and dreams with making Minimator your own deal. So that's it for me. Thanks for watching. I hope it was enjoyable. I hope you learned something. Whew. And I will see you in the next video.